Stop trying to change. Did, did I get you? The world says change. The world says grow, evolve, all that. That's all wonderful. What I'm focusing on now is the trying um, and the quote unquote need to change. If I'm trying to change, um, oftentimes that, I'm, that involves effort, it, it involves resistance, uh, it involves my evaluation or interpretation that something needs to be different somehow. Um, and all of these things are less than peaceful experiences. And this teaching is about peace, it's about having a peaceful experience. So really the only way or the more, the, the more efficient and all-encompassing way to bring about change and whatever that might be. Now we're talking about change in self. I'm not talking about change in others. I support you and stop trying to change others. That's a whole separate topic that we can explore at another time. But focusing on trying to change me, um, my behaviors, my actions, my thought patterns, whatever it might be. Uh, as I just said, trying involves all these less than peaceful um, notions. Rather, the way to bring about true lasting change is to really know oneself, uh, to be in a place of total self-honesty and acceptance of that. That's the place to start. And how do we start? Well, we start simply by bringing awareness, awareness to my experiences. So let's see if I can think of an example. Um, I want to change my eating habits. I've noticed that I binge um, every night on popcorn and candy bars. And, you know, for whatever reason, maybe the world's telling me or I'm telling me, it doesn't matter. I'm just, I'm aware that this is something I want to change. Well, there's two ways I can approach this. I can go out into the world and, and every night I can kind of force myself to not eat popcorn and chocolate, even though the desire is there, I want it, and I can just say no. Um, my experience has been, and many of the works that I've read will, will reinforce this, that I'm only going to be able to do that for so long. And during that time period, I'm not going to be peaceful. I'm not going to be happy because I'm, I'm resisting who I am. Another approach can be to eat the popcorn and eat the chocolate and allow myself, better yet, and bring awareness to how I experience myself while I'm eating the popcorn and the chocolate and more specifically after. I eat the popcorn and the chocolate because you, well, it's both, but it, it's probably more pronounced after. While I'm eating the popcorn and chocolate, and in the back of my mind is the thought, well, I shouldn't be eating this. I don't want to eat this. I'm, I'm not going to be at the weight I want. I, I'm, I'm whatever. It's not good for me. Blah, all those thoughts. While I'm sitting there trying to watch TV and do what? Eat some popcorn and some chocolate. Um, after the fact, maybe when I go to bed or the next day, I'll experience things like regret. I'm reliving, you know, beating myself up. I did it again. I failed. Every night I say I'm not going to, and I do it. And it's just messy and, and intolerable. And I'll use the same word that I've used in other videos. Yuck. It doesn't feel good. And I'm not peaceful. And I'm not peaceful the next day. I'm not peaceful over and over and over and over. Why? Because I'm arguing with who I am. I'm arguing with truth. So another approach can be, as I said, to eat the popcorn, eat the chocolate, and then bring awareness to what my experience is of myself while I'm eating the popcorn and the chocolate. Now I may, I'm going to have the same thoughts in the same process, but because there's awareness there, they're not just unconscious thoughts reinforcing themselves and giving me this background sense of dis-ease. I'm now bringing those thoughts to the forefront. I'm, I'm bringing attention to them and I can go inward and I can check and see what is my experience when I'm believing the thoughts 
that I shouldn't eat popcorn, that I shouldn't have the chocolate, that I want to do it differently. And as I bring awareness to that, we begin to notice what's happening. It's, just, it's a student of experience practice. What is my physical sensations? So while I'm eating the popcorn, am I enjoying it? Am I, how does it feel? How, what's happening in my body? Or am I listening to the thoughts telling me I shouldn't be while I'm putting popcorn and chocolate into my mouth? Keep eating the popcorn and the chocolate until you stop. But while you do it, bring awareness to it. What's my experience? How am I feeling? Am I emotionally upset that I'm doing this? Am I distraught? Whatever it might be. And nine times, well, I, I say that all the time. I'm not going to say it this time. <clears throat> You will begin to notice that if it's something that really wants to change, it will change on its own. Simply because if I notice over and over and over again that my experiences associated with eating chocolate and popcorn in the evening are less than peaceful experiences, eventually I will stop that behavior as an end result because it's this unconscious thing that takes place that says, I don't want to do that. I don't want to feel that way. It's no longer about the eating the popcorn and the chocolate. It, with awareness, it shifts from being about that to being about, I'm not peaceful when I'm doing this. And it doesn't matter why I'm not peaceful. That, that'll take care of itself. It, it's, it's about the experience. So if every night that I'm eating popcorn and chocolate, I check in and I notice that, well, yeah, it tastes good. And on the surface, it's, it seems very enjoyable because it is meeting a surface need. That's a whole nother topic. But if I also I go a little deeper and I, and I really look at the experience, if the thoughts are there that I don't want to do it and I'm doing it, that's not peaceful. Same thing with when I'm laying in bed going, going to sleep that night after eating the popcorn and the chocolate. If I'm still reliving that and I'm entertaining thoughts of, I shouldn't have done it, tomorrow I'm not going to do it, 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 it's not peaceful. And the more and more we bring awareness to our less than peaceful experiences, it's just our natural tendency to let those things go because we don't want to feel less than peaceful. And I'll use that word again, yuck, it doesn't feel good. So it's, to summarize, it's not about outwardly and aggressively changing my behavior. Who I am in that moment is someone who wants to eat popcorn and chocolate. Or even better yet, who I am in that moment is someone who is eating popcorn and chocolate. The gifts come from bringing awareness to that and recognizing, starting to recognize what my experience is when I do it. And in that, if it's a less than peaceful experience, after enough time of bringing attention to it, the behavior will change on its own. And I'm left to be peaceful. <laughs>